them and probably Penn State are probably the, the two best teams that have come in at the D2 level this year. Crane now closing in. Masters with an opportunity and scores! Eric Masters finds the near side and beats Lively to put the Flames up one to nothing. Take another look at that. Masters had a, had a nice little breakaway there. We'll see that in a second. Eric Masters only played about six games with the Flames. Gets his fifth goal. This one was a beauty. Beating Lively near side right there. It sends the Flames up one to nothing. Curly had, Curly had him beat. Last night, the post kind of hurt Lively as Lamaru kicked one in off the post. Post friend, but Krilly gets another opportunity, and this time he isn't denied by Lively or the post. Second goal of the game for the Flames. And, and you could you could tell by his shot selection, he almost he was almost saying, "All right, I don't want to be denied by the post again. I'm going five hole." And he he picked the spot, found found the five hole of Lively, and uh, we got back of the net. So you see here, Krilly with it. He sent it in and exactly right there, sent it past Lively after he had just got rejected by the post probably 30 seconds before. Krilly gets another look and puts the Flames up two to nothing. Much better start for the Flames in this one. They obviously don't want to look back, have a nice two goal lead. Saved there by Lively once again. Clark there to put it in for the Flames for the third goal of the game. Great rebound effort there by Andy Clark. Yeah, and this is the Liberty hockey you're used to seeing. Hustling on the rebounds, crashing the crease, good puck movement, good shot selection. Here, here it is, get, the, get that nice little juicy rebound off the pads lively, and Clark's just in the right place at the right time as it slides back across the crease. So Andy Clark picks up his sixth goal of the season for the Flames. Flames ahead, three to nothing. Opportunity shot and score by number 14, Austin Reynolds, to get the Bobcats on the board for the first time today. Uh, and that was a pretty nice one. He he found this, he found his spot and got it right over the shoulder of Blake Scott. So Austin Reynolds gets his fifth goal of the season. As you see right there, beat Scott near side. Not much real estate there in between Scott and the pipe, but he threaded the needle perfectly. Kenneman loses it once again to Crilly. Crilly gives it to Lamaru. Lamaru to Flanders. Flanders scores! Flames from the back of the net what for the fourth shot. time tonight. That was a beautiful shot by Flanders. That he got a he got all of that one from from just just at the top of the slot. What a what a beauty of a shot right there. This one was a beauty from start to finish. So Krilly gives it to Lamaru. Lamaru gives it to Flanders. And then Flanders sends it home for goal number four for the Flames. It really all started by the play of Drew Krilly taking it down the near side. Clark now with it for the Flames. He'll give it to Crane. Crane trying to make a couple of moves. Get behind the net. Got King out in front. Clark! Oh, what a Excuse shot. Me, Crane was the one who fired that shot and scored. Jamie Crane gives the Flames their fifth goal of the game. And he's been solid all season for this team. Picks up his 14th goal of the game. That's just a beautiful shot season. right there. Got it. Finally, the post is the friend of the Liberty Flames. As you see right here, I thought about passing it there to King, but how did he sneak that in? Wow. He, he, he got a lucky bounce off the post on that one, but he got just the right angle to, to hit that post and get it to bounce in. And they'll be down a man for another minute and 40 seconds. Flanders making a couple of great moves. Looking cross ice to Lamaru and scores! Flanders makes a couple of moves to get around the Bobcat defender, sees Teammate on the other side, and it's Paul Lamaru, the leading scorer of this team, to add another one to the Flames' tally on today's game. Flanders coming down the left side there, and Lamaru with just a quick one touch to put it in the back of the net. And that's going to do it. Flames pick up their 15th win of the season. And it's a big one considering they lost 7-3 to three yesterday against Ohio. 
come back this afternoon, tie things up in the weekend series. Jake, overall, what are your takeaways for this weekend between this series of Ohio and the Flames? I, I think this is good. This is a good lesson to learn before you head to playoffs. Right. Because you, uh, this, this game is kind of the blueprint for exactly what you want to do in the playoffs. And last night is the blueprint for exactly what you don't want to do in the playoffs. Flames win this one six to one. Big win for them. Uh, I think we learned a lot though about this Ohio hockey team as well. They uh, were very impressive. Now gonna look at our Hardy's star of the game. And Drew Crilly, no doubt, the star of the game in this one. He yeah, had a goal no and assist, here. and then another goal that was turned away. So really scored two goals. Obviously, just one of them wasn't counted. Great game by him. Probably one of the best games I've seen from him oh, all yeah, season definitely. long. Crilly playing one of his best games of the season and one of the best games I've ever seen him play. Flames all together, come together, get a nice collective win, though. Got Virginia Tech next weekend, though. Regular season running down. Jake, what do you think about this Flames team coming into playoff time? I think they're right exactly where they want to be. If they keep playing like they did today, they will make a very good run in, in Nationals because at this point they're, they're pretty much a lock for, for Nationals. So it's just a matter of uh, how much how they can do when they get there. It's going to be fun to see this team come playoff time. Only one game left in the regular season for them. Flames get the win 6-1 to one over Ohio. I want to say thanks to all our crew in the back. From, Aaron, from Jake Patterson, I'm Aaron Nolan saying so long here from Lynchburg, Virginia.